Welcome to Get Licensed. Today we'll be discussing liability without a contractor license. While illegally contracting in California is certainly a high risk activity, not all construction projects require a contractor to be licensed. However, contracting without a license in California doesn't provide many opportunities. An unlicensed contractor can only be hired for projects that are less than $500, including labor and materials. So making a living without a license will be a challenge. According to state law, it is illegal for an unlicensed contractor to advertise as being licensed or contract for work exceeding $500 in value for labor and materials. Generally, anyone constructing or altering roads, buildings, railroads, parking facilities, or other structures where the $500 limit will be met or exceeded must have a legal license to do so. A handyman only needs a contracting license if the expense of the project will meet or exceed the $500 limit. It is important to note that a handyman cannot break up the project into increments less than $500. This monetary limit applies to all labor and materials involved in the project as a whole. Working as an unlicensed contractor leads to many penalties, so it's best to go about these projects properly. Also know that many unlicensed contractors are unaware that operating without a license in California is a misdemeanor that can result in jail terms of up to six months and fines that can run upwards of $15,000. The penalties are much stiffer for repeat offenders or those caught contracting illegally for work that stems from a federal or state disaster. You definitely don't want to be on the repeat offenders list with CSLB. They will also earn the notorious distinction of finding themselves on the infamous most wanted list. California Business and Professions Code is where you can find that it states it is a misdemeanor and all of the other um, legalities of not being licensed. Unlicensed contractors in California may be also surprised to discover they cannot legally recover any financial damages they may have incurred as part of a contract for work that requires a license in which a customer did not hold up their end of the deal. California Business and Professions Code 7031. In addition, any person who hires an illegal contractor to perform work that requires a license can bring a suit against the contractor for all payments made and the unlicensed contractor will have no re legal recourse. In layman terms, no contract between an unlicensed contractor and a customer involving work that requires a license is legally enforceable from the perspective of the contractor. So as the contractor, you can be out any money um, or any um, anything that uh, to be paid for the work that you may have been done, that you have done. The customer retains the right to sue the contractor for any and all payments made, even if all the work was performed according to the contract. So there again, the customer can sue you even if you've performed all of the work, if they wanna turn around and sue you for whatever reasons. While many unlicensed contractors are undoubtedly good people just trying to provide for their families, the ratio of risk versus reward for this activity is poor and getting caught is inevitable the longer one chooses to continue illegal operations. The CSLB actively performs stings throughout the state that lead to hundreds of arrests annually. And nobody wants to be added, have that added embarrassment of being apprehended in their local community, often in the presence of the media. Mm -hmm. Complying with CSLB licensing and bond re bonding regulations, while tedious and financially cumbersome, 
at times as a much better alternative than the fines, lawsuits, and jail time. Becoming a licensed contractor also adds an element of trust that potential customers recognize and actively seek when hiring for construction projects. Remember when you're licensed, insured, bonded, those are things that you can add to your website to instill that trust with those consumers when they're, when they're searching for you. <clears throat> we can help you get licensed and pass your exam. It is very easy to apply for the license and it is very easy to pass your exam with our study guides. We have condensed study guides that help you pass those exams and, and get your license. So it's a very quick and rapid um, process. Our practice exams are simple, they're fun, they're a great way to prepare for the state exam. And we provide a summary and at the end of each test with written explanations to the answers. The lectures that we have are offered online and they're written by California construction law attorneys and tradesmen. There's online lectures, there's practice exams, there's flashcards, there are math courses, there are physical, you receive a physical study guide um, with, our, with our study prep. Our course will have you fully prepared for your exam and our students have a 98% pass rate. So there are links in the description box below to um, learn more about our study guide, our online prep course and study books. If you're ready to get your California contractor's license and legally work in the state of California, make your first step by ordering our three-step study prep course. Again, the links are in the description box below. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more information about our study guides, the trades and their, um, their what you can do with, our tra with your trades, uh, jobs that you can perform, any liabilities, and any other information that we can provide um, for California contractors. Uh, we do that um, weekly, we provide videos. So once again, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at getlicense.com. Once again, that's get-license.com. Thanks again and have a great day.